Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'll be showing you how to make a waistband and one thing you can do for me is to hit the subscribe button and give it a big thumb up. So the first thing you have to do is to get your hips measurement and that will lead you to make the waistband because the waistband has to pass from the hips, okay? And that is the widest part in your lower part of the body. Now you can use this on dresses, cut, short, pants or anything, okay? So we are going to start off with any medium weight can kind of work for this so make a slip knot you chain and then you pull so that is a slip knot you can do it in a way that is easier for you so chain seven and then come back to the first chain And push your hook through it and then grab that loop that you left off then continue chaining so this process will help your work not to get entangled okay so you're going to chain long enough to stretch to your hip size and I'll be working for hips 48 so when you stretch that it goes to 24 so times 2 that is 48 then you connect your yarn okay you connect the the ends of your chain so you're going to start off the first row by chaining three and then make a double crochet in the very first chain you see there so yarn over and go into the chain then you pull up a loop now you have three loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and pull through two you never pull through two so that's how you make a double crochet go into the next stitch and make another double crochet okay so the rest of the stitches will receive double crochets until the end of the row so i'm on the end of the row and i'm remaining with one stitch so make the last double crochet and then connect your row with a slip stitch so you count three stitches into the third stitch you're going to make a slip stitch like that so that's how it can look so you chain three for row two and then you turn your work now this is where you have to make the front and back post now go into that that space that is in between the chain th the previous chain three and the uh, first double crochet there so pass your hook outside outward sorry then through the next space you come back inward and make a front post double crochet so you yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that is a front post double crochet now going to the next space from the back so going to that space from the back okay and then go to the next space from the front going backwards like that and make a back post double crochet like that now the next is a front post double crochet going to that space going to the space there and then come back through the next space and make a front post double crochet so that's how you're going to make front and back post double crochet and you continue doing that until the end of the row keep alternating front and back post double crochet only
so we're coming to the end of the row and I'm remaining with one stitch and that will receive a back post double crochet okay so that is a back post double crochet now the next thing is to slip stitch so into the stitch you make a slip stitch okay now chain three and continue to the next row and that is row three so here it's simple you have to follow the previous row where you see a front post like that you make a front post double crochet and the next is a back post double crochet so go into the back post double crochet and make a back post double crochet like that so continue following one or two and then we are at the end so make a back post double crochet that is the last back post double crochet and then you slip stitch so you're going to continue repeating row three until you achieve the width of your waistband so i'll be having i'll be making five rows in total and i'm done with my five rows now going back to row one using single crochets so use single crochets to go back to row one so make two single crochets in the first double crochet row okay then the next double crochet row receives um one single crochet So do that until you come to the end of the, the the double crochet row okay and that is it so you can start your body of your work from that part now